Good morning all. I've got a first car boot in a very long time. It's outdoors today on hard standing. There's a few bits going on, like Christmas stuff and all that, all that jazz. I'm hoping to meet Tom today. Tom has never got a car boot bag. So I'm gonna gift him with an IKEA bag today. We'll see him. Okay, all right, let's go see what we can find today. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's things on your way? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, good, good. I'll leave you to it for a minute. Yeah, I'll take you. I'll see you in the bed. You're not selling today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got plenty, haven't you? Are you selling space? Are you selling space, aren't you? Yeah, I sold that disc, that really expensive one. Tombi. Oh yeah, 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 how much you get for it? 90? 130. Fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, for, for oh, a disc, don't you? Oh, loving life. Yeah, man. I couldn't believe it when that one should change. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ching, ching. Yeah, that's handy, man. I've been to car boot in ages. I've lost, I've lost all steam. Do you remember a GoPro I'm filming on my phone? No. Not, not it, mate. Not what? Not, not it. Yeah. That's oh, right. Fine. I'm going to quick browse around, then I'm, I'm going to go around and scoop up just stuff that I've never normally got. They've all queued up. They're all waiting patiently on the goat. They're allowed to come and look. Yeah, like, what the hell? It's, it's free for all today. Yeah. Right, that's the car boot sale done for today. To be fair, I wasn't expecting a lot and that's exactly what I got, not a lot. Um, I picked up a few things that I would never normally pick up, Blu-rays, CDs, etc. but I had to. Pickings were slim and I wanted to get some stuff. There's a few that are sealed, that's why I went for the deal, really. Um, Tom's got himself a nice new IKEA bag for car booting now, so I won't have to see him struggling with some plastic bags, afraid they're gonna split. I actually split one on him before. I, I like walk past, what do you got, mate? Uh, split it everywhere. Anyway, oh, we also brought, he, Tom brought some Yeezys from the charity shop a little while ago. He paid £5 for them. They was in his boot still. Um, we think they're fake. So I gave him his fiver for them. He, he wanted them back because they're my size. So I'm going to wear them anyway, no matter what. But I'm going to check them out properly. Quick glance. They look pretty poor. But if they're authentic, Tom, you have my word that I will sell them for you, for us. And we'll we'll split the profits if, if, if they're real. I don't think they are, though. But they're my size and my colour. So... Probably a keeper. Anyway, I'm at the charity shops. I'm going to see if I can find anything here to bulk out today's buy purchases. And um, I'll see when we get back. Well, that was a waste of time times two. So I've got nothing from the first shop anyway. Pointless coming here. And the second time. <laughs> and um, the second shop, they, <laughs> they closed. Well, they wasn't open. The sign saying back in 15. I actually waited. 20 minutes standing outside the shop. I gave up in the end. I gave up before now. I've given up. Give up. I'm going to go home and sort through the tat. See you when I get there. Well, we're back. I'm going to make this snappy. Don't even know if it's even going to be worth uploading, to be honest. But I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go anyway and see if it ends up making the cut. So here's what we bought. And I'm pretty ashamed of myself, to be honest. Because look at all those CDs and Blu-rays. Disgusting. So, uh, yeah, all of these are singles, these are albums, and these are Blu-rays. So we've got a few that are sealed on the Blu-rays, and the reason why I bought the singles was because you have a lot of dance, trance, classic sort of stuff in there. Faithless, Paul Van Dyke, Robert Miles, um, Sash, Positiva, there's loads of stuff in there. And that, some of them stuff do sell quite well, so I'm going to have to give it a good look and find out exactly what sort of money is worth there. But I don't know, a bit, a bit sketchy that is. Not my cup of tea at all. Just 
just going to jump in here very quickly. Just going through the CDs. I've scanned one CD and it's this Elton John CD, Candle in the Wind, new and sealed. Selling for £4.99. So that's my money back in one CD. Carry on. And then I picked up this Clark's bag. It's leather. It's in good condition, or at least it feels to be leather. I paid a pound. Clark's leather bag. Got to be 20 in it. Paid a pound for this Ravensburg puzzle. Well, slight technical issues there. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Ravensburger puzzle. I got this with the CDs and bag bundle thing. Owed me a pound, I think. Oh, yeah, a pound. Don't know what it's worth. Like I say, puzzles. I'm always going to pick up sealed puzzles for a pound. Because there's always a tenner in them. Nine times out of ten. This trolley from the same guy. It's brand new. RRP, £49.99. One's at it for £29.99. It's got some marks because it's been used as his storage. It's by a brand called Eagle. Paid £5 for it. I'll put that on Marketplace for a tenner. Probably like with most of these CDs as well. I'll put them up for a tenner. Picked up this Olympus Dictaphone. Paid £2. I get about £25 back on that. And these are the Yeezys that I bought from Tom. Now, first glance, you know, they look a bit sound, but they feel very, very light. Let me come out here and see if anybody can tell the difference because there's a couple of telltale signs for me that look, make, make me feel that they're fake. Okay, so inside we have, let me turn the camera around, but oh, here we are. So we've got the label inside, which doesn't really mean too much. Let me find, where are you? There we are. You know, it looks a bit, that Adidas looks a bit iffy, doesn't it? It's got the Yeezy stamp on the inside. The soles are, I don't know, but they just feel a bit light inside. When I pull the insole up, right, it just looks a bit iffy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, they feel a bit light as well. I don't know, I don't know. If anybody can shed some light, they just don't scream quality made to me. But what do I know? Um, I'm not a massive expert in this sort of stuff. I mean, look at that stitching. I'm not a massive expert, but they're just, just going off quality and feel. They don't feel right. But they're my size. So I said to Tom, I'm going to keep them anyway. I mean, I'm pretty much wearing the same colour now. They're my size. I would wear them all day long because I'm a moon boy. If they are real, I have said to Tom um, in the video a second ago, but he doesn't know yet because he probably hasn't seen the video. Um, if they are real and I end up selling them instead of keeping them, I'll split the profit with them. But yeah, I paid a £5 for them because he paid £5 from the charity shop. I think that's it. By the way, they are indeed fakes, but I'm going to keep them anyway. <laughs> so that's it there wasn't really much going on should i pick some orders with you to long the video out yeah let's do that well i've got a few things that i've half packed already so i might as well show you them quickly um let me tell you the prices so we've got two snes games tiny toon buster and bugs bunny they're just they're just carts 10 pound plus postage and then we have, what's that in there? Oh, this is a Nemesis mug. So this is the Alton Towers Nemesis mug. Um, I paid, I can't remember, about 50p, I think, ages ago. Sold for £14 plus postage. Then we have the Professional Cookwares Fondue set. Sold for £25.99 all in. I paid £2.75 the other week, I think. And then we have the Scrooge Christmas winter cottage thing uh sold for 20 pounds 19 all in bought that when i went to jess's wedding for two pounds 50 so those ones are packed up anyway um i do have a adidas spain 1998 1999 t-shirt to pick out of there but i won't do that on camera because it's a pain we've got a masters tournament cap also a massive pain it's in my clothing stuff to get out and if i can show you Oh, we've got a vintage head bag. Remember that big uh, 80s, 90s head duffel bag that I've, that I've had oh, right. a little while now? Is that it? 
No, that's the Sparco bag. But I'll put a screenshot up here somewhere. Pling magic. Can't find it. Disastrous. Um, some Viewmaster reels. Oh, but no, the head bag sold for £37.50 plus postage, so £4 to £1.50 all in. Some Viewmaster reels. This is strolling in London. That will be in the miscellaneous box in here. Probably be at the back somewhere. Let's have a look. And I'm going to sort this garage out. Somebody dropped off loads of boxes to me yesterday. So, uh, re up the cardboard, but uh, messed up the place. Hey, do you know what? Here's a screenshot. My gosh, I'm stumbling over myself. I'm not having a great time in here. I've decided as well, the window, it's pointless just being blocked up. I'm actually gonna use the space. So I'm gonna have another move around. That's just the way things are. Sold a Dior perfume bag. Paid 50p, I think, sold it for £8 plus post, so £11 all in. Sold Mr Bean Corgi car up here. Sold for £12.59 all in. Sold some ladies' cowboy boots. I sold them once already before. She sent a return. She returned. They returned yesterday. I listed them yesterday. And they sold yesterday again for £30.99 all in. I'm going to put screenshots up. I've decided. Um, Farming Simulator 17 for the Xbox One. Brand new and sealed. They paid £13.50 all in. Another BMW keyring. These are flying out now. I'm really happy with these. They only like 50 pence each, I think. Give or take. Um, £3.50 that one sold for. It's got 96p postage. Mate, I'm making about two quid. Quid and a half, give or take. But I bought 50 odd of them, so happy with that. And a Guinness mug. They paid £13.45 all in. So that's all my sales going out the door. I need to get them ready for tomorrow, so I'll have them packed up today. I'm going to go to the gym in about an hour, so I'm going to do a bit more packing. And then I'll ignore all of these CDs for the next six months. Until I can't be asked to do anything with it. And then I'll sell them to Rick. So that's the way I, that's the way I, that's the way I run my business. So today's agenda. Packing, move stuff around, go to the gym. And fester in my own squalor of a unit. I mean, look at the state of it, look. Absolute tip. But it's going to be beautiful when I'm finished. Flash forward, we've done it. Much, much better. Hold this space back again. You'll notice that I've moved this shelf here that was across the back there. I bought it all here. Just opens everything up and gives me that extra space. And I've been able to put the boxes that was on the floor here. They were down here somewhere to stack them up. And I can access them as and when I need to. A lot more cleaner. Sort of my wires up behind here. Just a hell of a lot better. Got to have a nice space to work in. So that's it. I've got to go to a car boot for the first time in ages and it was fun to do. I'm going to look out for some more. I think next weekend, as long as I'm free, I'm going to head down to James's one. I did say last week that I was either going to go to that one or this one and this one came back on. So I went here. I'm going to travel next week, hopefully, albeit there's no plans for me. So, hope you enjoyed that very strange, weird little video. Not much going on, not much excitement at all. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.